Hi everyone, I am Noelle with Noelle Rollins Art. So today I want to talk about alone time. Are you needing more alone time? Maybe you are surrounded by people and kids or roommates or parents and what that can do to you. So one of the things I have been really learning about and studying is Enneagram. And I am a four on the Enneagram. And one of the things that it really helped me to honor is that I need alone time and it's okay. There's not something wrong with me. There is not like an antisocial side to me that I don't like people. It is genuinely how I just refill. And it's not even that I'm fully introverted. I love being around people and doses and I love it and I can be in that zone but there is a lot of me time I need and I am just getting more and more okay with owning that and being unapologetic about it so within life parenting being a spouse um, a family member one thing is that I've had to learn to ask for it I set up times where, like today for instance, I am filming videos and I'm just decided to batch together a bunch of filming because otherwise truthfully, it was eight years ago that I did the last batch of them. <laughs> so I have to just do it. Um, but doing that, my son is downstairs. He gets to have a Minecraft day. It's a win-win. It's summer vacation here still and it's um, you may be watching this in October, I don't know. But at this time for us, it's just a gift for both of us. And it's allowing me then, once I finish these videos, just some time where no one's asking me questions in my ear. No one needs anything. No one um, needs my advice. I can just fully, even filming these, it's tuning in to myself and my... Um, kind of reflecting and sharing and it's such a a joyful place to be in and it's so necessary for me some other ways that I have found that have been really helpful is simply the drawing and creating time um, if I can put music on or something joyful often I'll listen to podcasts and courses and things like that and I love it but then I have to just have time where it's music or silence and that just it it's a totally different part of my brain that's activated then and it makes me feel like when I was 17 and I just got to have you know my only worry in the world was my own needs and as much as I love this phase of life there's times where I just want to just take care of myself so that has been a big one um I shared this in another another video but I a couple months ago went and got a hotel for the night by myself this was priceless for me and not having any retreats or any business at all this past year it allowed me a night where i just didn't feel bad for ignoring everybody i just got to focus on me i did a face mask and a foot mask and i um i take an awesome like long hot shower and then i spent hours working and just putting together this whole course and all of my notes, I had stuff spread out everywhere, all over the hotel, and it was fabulous. And just those few hours of doing that um, was more valuable to me than months worth of time put together. It allowed me to dig deeper. It allowed me to be just uninterrupted, um, really deep thinking and planning and plotting and especially as a business owner, that was so vital. Um, and me just getting very clear. It's hard to get clear sometimes when we can't even string two thoughts together without people talking to us. And that's something I've dealt a lot with lately is I was wondering why I was feeling so scattered. And then it occurred to me, oh, well, you have a puppy who needs you every few minutes or is chewing on something or is you know, into something. So constantly throughout my entire day, I'd have to tend to him. I love him, but it's a lot of energy. Secondly is homeschooling. If I don't honor that properly and give it the time it needs, 
it's easy to get resentful as if I am not giving my own self what I need then outside of that. So be fully in the moment with him doing that and then have another block of time during the day where I'm fully in my own time. That is really crucial. Um, we have a bunkhouse here that's almost like a little um, cabin sort of feel. It does not have any electronics out there. It has a fireplace and a table and it's just very calming. And I would go out there and light a candle and write for my book. And that time allowed me to dig deeper. Um, giving the people in my life permission to go do things without me sometimes has been really good. And there was times in my life I would have questioned, like, am I depressed? Am I um, just being mean or rude? And I've since just come to know myself that I'm not, I'm a very happy, fulfilled person. But I start to feel, um, like I said, scattered and like I can't function fully if I don't get enough time to dig deep. It's my work requires such a deep level of introspection and reflection and just feeling so that I can create at the level I want to create. And if I don't honor that, then it's just all surface junk that comes out. And then that is kind of the self-perpetuating thing where then you feel like garbage because you're not producing good things and you feel resentful because you've given everyone else your time. So, Finally learning to honor that and I just fully encourage you, if you are someone who also needs that time, give it to yourself. Find a way. Sometimes it's after everyone's sleeping and I just have a couple hours to myself and I just fully resist getting on the internet and doing something like that. And instead, um, just do something joyful or do something, um, do my deep work during those times. So what would you add that you have found helps fulfill you? or ways that you find to give yourself alone time and understand yourself better. I'm really curious. And also, do you feel bad or do people make you feel bad when you ask for it? It's something I've really been studying really hard this year. It started with when we got um, invited to a neighborhood potluck and we ended up not going because our cat had surgery that day and then we kind of forgot about it. and. Um, the guy showed up at our house, like wanting to know where we were. It was so weird. Um, and I kind of got an attitude about it, to be honest. Like, I don't even see the people I care most about in this world enough. Why am I going to spend my precious energy going to see this guy and the people? I don't even know them during a pandemic. Um, eh. And they're probably the nicest people, but I'm, I'm full. You know, I'm at my limit. I can't take any more on and give the way I'd want to give back. So it's kind of required me to just stay isolated a little bit from some of the more local things and understanding myself and my needs better, my Enneagram research, all of that has helped me to be okay with that and not feel bad because in the people that are important to me, the events that are important to me, I make sure to go and I have the time of my life with those people and doing those things. So it's not that I'm saying no to everything and I'm not telling you to say no to everything, but find the things that mean a lot to you and say yes wholeheartedly and then guard the you time that you need fiercely so that you can create deeper and more meaningful work in the world. Leave your comments below if you would. Share your wisdom with us. I'd love to hear what you have to say about this topic. Subscribe if you haven't. Um, watch my other behind the scenes videos about being an artist. I have all kinds that I'm sharing and I hope that they will be of use to you. So go ahead and give them a watch and leave a comment on those as well. Thanks for being here. All right. Bye.